how to peel peaches three ways. So it's actually really simple, um, and the only thing that you kind of need to know about choosing between the different ways is one, whichever one you prefer, but also where the state of your peaches are. So if your peaches are super ripe, like, ripe, like falling apart, like just like, whoa, then you're probably are gonna be more in the peeling with the knife category. If your peaches are like in between, um, they're, they're ripe, but they're not like, you know, whoa, super duper duper like soft. Um, then you're gonna wanna go with the blanching method. Or if your peaches are kind of like medium firm, um, they still smell great and they're, they're ripe, but they're kind of firm, then you're gonna wanna go ahead and just use a peeler to peel them. So let's get into it. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is the uh, blanching method. I've got my ice, um, I'm gonna put a little water in there to make an ice bath to kind of stop the cooking. You don't wanna cook your peaches, you just wanna get the, the skin off. You're just like loosening the skin so that it just whoosh, comes right off. Um, and then I've got um, soon to be <laughs> boiling water. And then I've got my peaches. So I want those peaches that are like, you know, they're ripe um, and they're ready to kind of, you know, be eaten. Uh, they're soft and, uh, but they're not, you know, you can still touch them and hold them without any damage, if you will. My water is almost boiling, and we are going to just kind of give, put a little X in the back of our, our peach. This is gonna give us a bit, a place to peel from. It's gonna give us a pull tab, if you will. It's like the, the tab on the, the soda can or something. And then we're going to go ahead and do that on all of our peaches. If you are making a lot of them or you're peeling a lot, you know, say for preserves or something, you're gonna wanna maybe not work out of a tiny little bowl like I am. So the good thing about blanching is that you don't actually have to wash them and like, you know, rub off the fuzz because the fuzz is gonna come off in the water. So, whoop. And now what we're gonna do is place our peaches in it. Carefully, not to, you know, splash thyself with hot boiling water, but just go ahead and kind of drop them in there. 30 seconds and then we'll take them out. Meanwhile, I'm gonna place some water in my ice bath. That's it, it's been 30 seconds. You can use whatever method you want to get them out of here. It is not, do not stress about it. Just get them in the water, perhaps a larger bowl, maybe less ice would have been good for me here. I'm not stressed about it, you shouldn't either. Need to fix this, because we need them to be in the water. And now we peel our peaches. Just grab them. Sometimes I like to use a paring knife to just kind of get that uh, little little tip out, and then we're gonna pull it off. Sometimes there's gonna be like a stubborn little piece that doesn't want to peel, and you're just gonna like take that off with your paring knife. So the me next method is just with a peeler. Now, um, for this method, I do like to go ahead and wash my peaches and kind of rub off the the fluff, if you will. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just pop over to the sink and give them a quick wash. Okay. And then just go ahead and like kind of rub just a little bit. Like if you, if you do this with two like very, very, very soft peaches, then your peaches are going to um, just like the peel's going to come off in your towel, which I guess is the kind of the whole point of this whole endeavor, so lean into it. Alright, so we're just going to take our peeler. I like to use a Y peeler because they're faster and we're gonna peel our peaches. Now this works best for peaches that are like, oh, have a little bit of firmness left to them that aren't, you know, going to just moosh in your hand. Sit, just repeat with all your peaches. Now, so that was peeling with the peeler. <laughs> Pretty self-explanatory. You're like, what do I do with all these peels that have like nice bits of peaches on them? You need them, yum. Um, or you can make like a, a quick simple syrup with them. So you make a simple syrup as you normally would, and then you would throw these in there and just let them kind of steep in there. And you'll have a nice peach simple for brushing cakes or, you know, cocktails. Because, like, is it five yet? No. It's not. Now, the last method, and certainly not least, is the just peel it by hand method, right? This is for those peaches that are super ripe and they are just going to peel off on their own. So that is what we're going to do. I like to think of this as like the combo method, right? So sometimes you've got like pit parts that are, you know, a little bit softer than others, and you might need to, you know, call in the help of your, of your peeler. But for the most part, these peaches are super ripe and just kind of peel themselves, essentially. 
can also get them started with a the parry knife, just like the other one. Voila! <laughs> Our least pretty peaches. Tear. <laughs> just go ahead and clean this up. And now you know how to peel peaches three ways, depending on the ripeness of your peach. You can choose whatever method works best for you. Have at it. On to the peach desserts.